With the first pick of the 2020 MLB Draft, the Detroit Tigers select Spencer Torkelson, a third baseman from Arizona State University. Number one pick joins us now live on MLB Network. Uh, Spencer, congratulations. Uh, we all were expecting to hear your name. Walk us through what that means to you. It, it means the world to me. Um, you know, to be the number one pick, um, it's such an accomplishment for not only me, but my family, all my coaches growing up, all my teammates, you know, everyone contributed to this, this moment right here. And then to be as a third baseman, you know, it, it shows the amount of you know, respect they have for me as an athlete, and I, I'll, I'll take it and run with it, because, you know, I, I, I like to leave myself as a baseball player, and, you know, you give me a, a bat, a ball, and a glove, and, you know, I'm, I'm, get, I'm just going to want to win. I just think with the power, he's going to give you 40 home runs. It doesn't really matter where it I, I love how he's, he's going to give you 40 home runs. I mean, but that's, how, that's what he's projecting to do. Yeah. That's how special of a bat Spencer Torkelson is. On behalf of everyone in the Detroit Tigers organization, we are thrilled to have selected Spencer Torkelson as the first overall pick in the Major League Baseball draft. Spencer is exactly the type of player we hoped would be there for us with a top pick. He's one of the most productive hitters in college baseball history, and he adds an elite bat to our stable of talented young players. Our scouts, analysts, and our entire baseball operations group did an outstanding job in the evaluation and preparation for us to make this selection. We're excited to have an impact player like Spencer join our player development system and know that he will be outstanding on the field, in the clubhouse, and off the field. Our great Tigers fans will no doubt enjoy tracking Spencer's path to the major leagues as we continue to build a winning culture and sustainable success for years to come. Welcome Spencer to the Tigers organization. It's a three-run bomb for Spencer Torkelson. Crushed to left. Torkelson. That ball was absolutely obliterated. High fly ball. Deep left field. It's another torque bomb. You know, I don't label myself as a baseball player. I label myself as, you know, a good friend, a yeah. good teammate, you know, just a guy that likes to have fun and hang out. And um, I like being normal. You know, normal's, normal's cool to me. So no added pressure for you? No, zero added pressure. Um, I think it's just, you know, it's a privilege to be in the position I'm in and I'm going to, you know, run away with it. To grab a competitive edge while staying relaxed, is that difficult for you to, to do? 
Uh, no, because I'm always super competitive in everything I do, like yeah. ping pong, Fortnite. You know, I hate losing. So I mean, uh, I don't think you need to be not relaxed to um, like or super uptight to be competitive. You know, if you had got that mindset in you that you're not gonna you're not gonna lose, you refuse to lose. You know, um, you can be whoever you want. You hit 36 home runs in Petaluma Valley Little League, is that right? I did, yeah, um, my 12-year-old. So, year so we're not surprised that you hit so many home I runs. I wasn't surprised, everyone else was, <laughs> yeah. That was, that was one of the best years of baseball in my life. Spencer Torkelson, you've got to be kidding me. That ball was absolutely obliterated. I dropped some, some uh, you know, seventh grade torque bombs, whatever. <laughs> What's it like to have the support from your family? That, it's really special to have them behind me and um, always supporting me because, you know, to them I've never had a bad game but I know I've had bad games. <laughs> so it's nice to I do know. too, I do too. Yeah, it's like 0 for 4, 3 strikeouts, I go over to hang out with them, and you know, they- Way they, to go! Yeah, like, good, you look good out there. And then, and then they just refuse to talk baseball uh, the rest of the day because, you know, they know that it doesn't define me as well. You know, we're just, they're there as a, a family, we're gonna have a good time and, you know, play some cornhole or something. Mm -hmm. So how would they define you? If I were to ask your mom, you know, if, if she's sitting right here, I say, you know, who is Spencer Torkelson? Uh, uh, probably just, I don't know, goofy would probably be one word. Uh, again, I don't take myself too seriously. Uh, just, you know, really happy. I mean, you know, I, I love everyone, I uh, respect everyone, it's like, it's kind of like that. I can't let you go without talking about this hat. It's, it's the grossest thing I've ever seen. Are you going to change it before you guys play? Yeah, I'll, I'll wash it. Okay, good. I, I, I You're like not going to get hat. a new one? Nah. Why? Some of that's a bit weird. It, it's, I don't know. It's How long have you thing. had it? Uh, two years. Okay, so is it like the lucky hat? You're a I'm not superstitious, guy? but you know, I like I like the way it fits. So okay. I'm, I'll wash it. It just shows. Now uh, Spencer Torkelson went number one overall. He tops the board as a third baseman, and the number one pick joins us now live on MLB Network. Uh, Spencer, congratulations. Uh, we all were expecting to hear your name, but to hear it as a third baseman, uh, walk us through what that means to you. I, I, it means the world to me. Um, you know, to be the number one pick, um, it's such an accomplishment for not only me, but my family, all my coaches growing up, all my teammates, you know, everyone contributing to this this moment right here. And then to be as a third baseman, you know, it, it shows the amount of, you know, respect they have for me as an athlete. And I, I'll, I'll take it and run with it, because, you know, I, I, I like to leave myself as a baseball player. And, you know, you give me a a bat, a ball, and a glove, and you know, I'm, I'm just going to want to win. So, that's it. Hey, hey Spencer, it's Harold here. I, I was so impressed watching, we were talking about athleticism, watching you run. And I'd heard about you when you first got to Arizona State, actually were playing second and third, and because of the stockpile, you moved to first base. So, give us a little background on how much you've actually played other positions in the infield. I mean, you saw the video earlier. You saw me locking down short, uh, you know, <laughs> as a 12 year old. And then, that lasted until about 14, 15. I'll bring it back for you right here. A little bit second. <laughs> oh, God. But, uh, yeah, so I've, I've, I've always felt comfortable anywhere on the field. Um, I'm, you know, I just want to win. So whatever it takes to do that and help the team, I'm all, I'm all about it. Detroit Tiger fans are so excited about you. They're watching this right now. What would you like to say to that fan base? Go Tigers, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go wrong by saying that. The number no. one pick in the 2020 no. draft, Spencer Torkelson. Congratulations on a great college career and all of your success tonight. Well done. Thank you guys so much. All right, there you have it. Hey, Tigers fans, it's Spencer Torkelson. What a special night. I look forward to wearing the old English D soon. Go Tigers.